Welcome back to my channel. This is Marcel again, ang yung lingkod. Musta? I hope everyone is doing great. And today is Wednesday. If you are expecting a USCIS biometrics appointment based on your USCIS application, this video will calm down any worries you might have about this stage of your application. First of all, if you've got this stage of your USCIS application, congratulations! Getting to the biometrics appointment is an important stage in your immigration journey. But as at this point, some people worry about what is involved, especially when they hear the word biometrics. But don't be scared about the word biometrics. All this means that during your appointment, you will be asked to provide information that would be used to verify your identity. The identifiable information to be collected during your appointment will be your fingerprints and your photograph. A biometric screening is not an interview. Therefore, you can expect this process to be quick. By submitting your biometric information, you will be giving USCIS permission to perform a crim criminal background search on you. And the outcome of this background search will be used to either approve or deny your application. Now you know about what will happen, let's talk about what you should bring to your appointment. On the day of your biometric appointment, you will need to bring the following. So number one is your original biometric appointment notice USCIS sent to you or the form 797C, a notice of action for case type I-485 or application for adjustment of status and the I-7965 for the employment authorization document application. It will include information about the date, time, and location of your ASC appointment. So it's, it should look like this. This notice does not grant any immigration status or benefit. It's Form 797C. See that? This was mailed to me from the USCIS. So you can see here the uh, date and time of your appointment and the location of your appointment which will be here on in AESC or application service center. The second requirement is your valid passport. Just the two requirements. So you, you may notice as well that on your AESC biometrics appointment notice it includes a code in the top right part of the letter here. Mine is code 3. So the code is intended to indicate the type of biometrics processing to be performed. The possible values are this. For code 1, the, the appointment is limited to collecting fingerprints for 5, I'm sorry, for all 10 digits, these 10 fingers. And the USI USCIS forwards the fingerprints to the FBI for background check. For code 2, personnel will collect a photo, signature, and index index finger press print. This type of processing is typical for beneficiaries who receive a card like permanent resident card or employment authorization document or EAD. The code 3 personnel will collect a photo, signature, index finger press print, as well as fingerprints for all the 10 digits. Code 3 is a combination of code 1 and 2. So what I have is code three that means i had those two codes it's a combination of code one and code two because i need my aus and my green card application now once the biometrics screening is done the biometric officer will stamp your appointment notice marking the end of the biometrics appointment the biometric officer will then return your valid id and your stamped appointment notice form or seven 97C, you may leave the application support center. So, it's like this. After, after it's done, they will stamp it here in red. The original copy of it. Alright, so the appointment itself takes most people 15 to 30 minutes. So in my end, because when I went there, 
there were only like a couple of people so it only took me less than 30 minutes depending on your application or region of the country the and workload of the USCIS may they may initially schedule the biometrics appointment on the day within three, three to eight weeks of filing your USIS form. I have mine submitted August 15, my application for adjustment of status, and my biometric appointment was on September 13, so it only took less than a month to get my biometric appointment. And the next step is to wait. Because depending on your application type, the service center processing it, and it may be a it may take several weeks or months before you hear from the USAS again. Like mine, I my case still under review. It's how uh, it's been how many months passed already, and I still haven't hear from the USAS again. But still hoping it might be very soon. I would hear from them about my application for my work permit good luck everyone and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask i will try my best to answer them thank you and we'll see you in the next videos